Call Halayim, Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Rukah Kadash. Devil honest to the elders and the apostles of the great meal, song who rule well and who taught us the truth. The men here on earth today ushered in the kingdom of heaven. All right, who we learned the scriptures from, devil honest to them. All right, Shalom to the hopeful elect, the Akim out there spreading the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth, sincerity and truth. Presenting your bodies as a living sacrifice as the scriptures teach us to do. All right. So that we be found blameless on at the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai. You know, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. You know, Shalom to the very few sisters that do listen to us as well. The Aqua out there, all right, learning, you know, watching the videos, all right. This is Brother Yahweh from the Great Millstone Chicago camp. And basically, I'm just coming back to you with another lesson, man, concerning this simpism and this beta maleism and, um, going on in Israel, you know, basically amongst the two-thirds of Israel, and, and just this, this mother goddess worship in general, man, because this is going to be abolished, all right? There's order, man, all right? And we are to honor our women. The scriptures say, honor your wives as into the weaker vessel, all right? So we're not guys who outlaw having women, all right? This is not the little rascals with the he-man woman haters club and whatnot, but it's, it's a balance to it, man. And being a simp and a beta male and having your head up your woman's ass, man, is perfectly out of balance. There's no logic in it, man. You know, a man of the Lord is to put his flesh into subjection, man. And you niggas with your head up a woman's ass, man, are totally, totally following the flesh, man, and being emotional and being simple, man. And now women are upheld in this society for everything that is not righteous. They're not being held, upheld in this society for being virtuous, all right? They're being the ones that are up here in society are up here for being a, what that single mother ism saying they can do bad all by themselves. That's not in the scriptures. The scriptures tell you that the woman is, needs the man and the man needs the woman. The two shall be joined together and come one flesh. They are not uh, independent of each other. All right, so that's wickedness, man. You know, being half naked and so forth and so on. But in the kingdom of heaven, man, women worship will be abolished, man. There's an order to, to the, the, the way of things, man. And basically, I'm just going to get some scriptures, man. All right. And, and we're going to deal with this matter, man. This is, um, whether you women like it or not, man. Because when the lights go out, you're going to get in order, man. And you're going to look for a king to serve. And all you women talking about, oh, you, you fucking fake ass, fucking Israelite sisters too, man. With them silly ass, looking silly in your head wrap. Calling brothers kings and then then you go in the hey look a king is a, a king has many women man straight up man you better come correct man this is Ephesians five and twenty three it says no selection this is Hebrew so Ephesians five and twenty two it says wives submit unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Mashiach is the head is the is the head of the church and the savior of the body. Exactly, because if a woman gets delivered through a man, all right, we get delivered uh, for serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right, but it says the husband is the head of the wife, even as Mashiach is the head of the church. Wives submit to your own husband. Hey, that's how you know it's wicked, man. These things they got in these churches in the world, marriage counselors, man. You going to get you you going to so called church getting advice from a preacher, talking about communicate. Hey Amen. What your man say is law, man. Ain't no goddamn commun communicate about what. No, but and, and some things you know you could come to understandings about, but you damn sure ain't finna go get no another dude and you gonna sit down with him and he gonna tell you how to run your spot. That's wickedness, man. The husband is the head of the wife. That's period, man. In no time in this scriptures, all right, are you going to see a man in righteousness put a woman on a damn pedestal, man, and put his head up her ass, man. That's wickedness, man. That's what these niggas into commit in Egyptology into, man. And what, what has that birthed? A generation of beta males that don't know how to defend themselves. They don't know how to defend with logic. They don't know how to govern their community. Because the man was taken out of the house, man, and, and these, these damn degenerates, and like the apostles say, these GMO babies were raised and now they plague our community, you know, off just just being overly emotional and, and, and just non-logical, man. No sense whatsoever, man. But it all comes with that that woman worship, man. 
This is um, 1 Corinthians 11 and 1. It says, Be ye followers of me, even as I am also a Mashiach. Now I praise you, brethren, that you remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I delivered them to you. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Mashiach, and the head of every woman is the man, and the head of Mashiach is Yahweh. All right? That's period, man. That's the order. We're not on an equal playing field with Yahweh Shah. He's not on an equal playing field with Yahweh. And he tells you in the scriptures, man, that, uh, you know, only that day and time that the Father knows, man. All right? We didn't do this 100% correct in ascending to the heavens. We're not on the playing field as Yahweh Shah. Now, of course, the scriptures do tell us we're going to get the reward and we're going to be joy and his, you know. But we ain't on the same playing field in the spirit as Yahweh Shah. Ain't no equality in that, man. That's why I ain't no equality with a man who was the head of a woman, man. The Bible don't teach about equal rights, man. The Bible teaches about order, rulership, dominion, kingship. That's what the scriptures teach us about, man. These are the ways that, that, that we are seeking to follow, man. These This is that great heritage, that law of life for a heritage that was taken from us due to slavery, post-traumatic slave syndrome, and social engineering, man. But when we come back into our land, into our language, and our heritage, and, and you know, and, and much more for Yahweh, what we fighting for, what Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, you know, has promised and stored up for us. You know, Yahweh Shai said in the gospel, in his father's house of many mansions, all right, he said, uh, you know, let no man take that crown in Revelations. I think it's the third chapter. It said in Revelation, the second chapter, you're going to be a rule, uh, or you're going to rule. 2, 25, and 26, you're going to rule over your oppressors with a rod of iron. We're looking for those things, man. And when we get those things, that kingship is going to come with full dominion, man. All right, this is Job 8 and 8. It says, for inquire, I pray thee of the former age, and prepare thyself to the search of their fathers. And that's what we're doing. We're preparing ourselves and searching out the, the, the way of our forefathers, man. This this is a new thing, man. Matter of fact, let me get that. This is a new thing, man. This this woman ruling over the man. Because when we policed our own land, all right, when it wasn't no, um, who can I run to, 911 and shit, our women was in order, man. But when Esau came, all right, and, 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 and it was our fault because, you know, we went off against the Most High. And he gave us over to the hand of our enemies, man. And that was, that was one of the curses, man. All right? He said you should be got a wife and another man should lay with her, man. You know, that happened hardcore when you would be get a wife in slavery. You know, and Esau lay with her, man. But now our women is polluted. Amos 7 and 17, he said that daughter shall be, the daughters named women, that wives, they be harlots in the street in the land that's divided by line. That's one of the curses, man. Our women, those are the curses. Our women are just whores, man. And wicked, man. And they reign over us, man. All right. Tell you that in the book of Isaiah, the third chapter. This is, uh, what was I looking for? This is in Jeremiah. Kind of Jeremiah 31 and 22. This is a new thing, man. How long would thou go about, O backsliding daughter? For Yahweh have created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. And that's the time we're living in right now, man. A woman is compassing a man, and these niggas going for it like 40 going north. But that's unrighteousness, man. That's not righteous for a man to put his woman over him. That's no that's no way in the scriptures, man. You women, you know, who bring out my favorite, because this is how the women of old conducted themselves, right? Did not the scriptures say, um, you know, Sarah called Abraham Lord, you know, always bring out the account of 1 Kings. If I can get that, the spirit allows read go for it now first kings the first chapter to the second kings not the first kings first kings the first chapter and about the 15 verse God, this is first kings the first chapter and this is how women conducted themselves all right this is the search of our fathers the kings of israel those are our fathers all right not these pale faced dudes with little wieners you see you know po posted up Collecting dust in the Catholic, so fucking Catholic Church, man. This is um, <clears throat> First Kings one and fifteen. It says, and Bathsheba went in unto the king. 
into his chamber, into the chamber, and the king was very old, and Abishag the Shunammite ministered unto him, and Bathsheba bowed. This was his wife, bowed and did obeisance and unto the king, and the king said, What wouldest thou? So she wasn't looking for a phone. She wasn't asking him, Who was this chick in the bed with you? Who's rubbing you down, you know, serving you, ministering to you? No. She bowed down before she even spoke to ask the king a question, man. Because that's that's what our forefathers was on, man. They wasn't on this pussy bag and shit, you know, that you're out here into. This bath water drinking. Acting a, a fool, you know. And you simps gonna pay for that, man. Giving the game a black eye. A lot of these women, you know, want a man to put the foot down, man. But these simp ass niggas in the way, man. All right? This is a uh, second Ezra, <laughs> uh, two, two, <clears throat> it's a lucky second Ezra is four, and, and uh, hmm, it's a lucky, it's first Ezra is four and 26. I know it's the first Ezra. Con, this is first Ezra four and twenty five. It says, Wherefore well, a man loveth his wife better than father or mother, which is of a truth. It says, Yea, many men, many there be that have run out of their wits for women, and have become servants for their sakes. Many also have perished and have erred and sinned for women. And do ye not believe me? Is not the king and is not the king great in power, and do not all regions fear him? Yet I did see him in the Pemeth, the king's concubine, the daughter of Admiral Bradicus, sitting at the right hand of the king, and taking the crown from the king's head and setting it upon her own head, and she had shrunk the king with her left hand. Yet for all this the king gaped and gazed upon her with mouth open, with an open mouth. You, you know she was bad, <laughs> you know, just a side note. If she laughed upon him, he laughed also. But if he, she took any displeasure in him, the king was fain to flatter that she might be reconciled to him again, you know, trying to make it up, so to speak. But the point is, it says in 27, it says, also many men, many men have perished, have erred, and have sinned for women, man. Putting that damn woman on a pedestal. Many men have fell out this truth because of fucking woman, man. With the girlfriend thing, with the girlfriend parents thing, man. Just, just niggas, bitch ass shit, man. You don't do that, man. Scriptures say you, you find a woman that's pleased to dwell with you, man. She don't have to be all in the crib with them wrapping her head up reading the scriptures. No, man. She respect the, the holy day. She ain't bringing that bullshit in your crib. All right. That that's good enough, man. She ain't trying to drag you to all these stupid ass family gatherings. You know? She but, but she she acknowledged the truth. You're gonna spend more time with this than anything. You're gonna deal with the brotherhood. And she sit there and, and you know do whatever the hell she do. You know? And she at peace with you, man. That's the type of woman you deal with, man. You know? Scriptures say not to get ourselves over to a light woman, man. Hell you dealing with a bitch in a club every week. You know, exclusively. I mean, you can deal with whoever the hell you want to, really. As long as she ain't dealing with another man. But at the same time, man, you know, if you, you get a woman, man, you don't give yourself to one of these light-ass women that want to bring you around all these stupid-ass family gatherings and just nigga shit. No, man. It ain't gonna happen, man. But, you know, hey, man, matter of fact, let me finish with the, that one that I said. All right, because this is going to cut a lot of BS with them two in Isaiah. Matter of fact, I got a two-piece. I might have a three-piece, man, but, you know, they normally don't make it after the two anyway. <laughs> this is um, Isaiah. A little way to the flow by then. This is Isaiah 32 and 2 and 1. It says, Behold, the king shall reign in righteousness and princes." shall rule in judgment. A man and a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind and a cover from the tempest as a river of water and a dry place as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. And that's what a man is going to be. He's going to be a cover from the tempest, man. 
from all this destruction, man. There's a river of water in, in a weary land. He's gonna be like a mirage, like a like an oasis. All right, and that word cover, you know, even goes into a hiding place, but it goes into a hiding place through marriage, through sex. All right, you know, when you look up certain definitions, like regular definitions, you know, in the dictionary, you know, so they actually understand that a man is a woman's cover. This is Isaiah 4. You know, I, I can get to it, but let me look it up. Find something to do. Play them damn video games. This is Isaiah 4 and 1. It said, In that day seven women shall take hold of one man, say, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. Because a woman is going to be delivered from a, for a man. From a man. So even before the kingdom, man, you're going to have women trying to deal with you, man, clawing to deal with you, man, you know, and, and the man in the scriptures, you know, when we was in our land and in our heritage, man, you know, a man gave the food, the raiment, and, and the sex, the duty of marriage, man, these women say they'll come with it all, just let us be called by your name, man, which shows you, he who be got some wife, he got some possession, man, ain't no pussy begging in the scriptures, man, but with that being said, Everything will be in order real soon, man. How about shit? How it shall rot his eye, man. We just waiting on our moment. Hey. No, with that being said, call the loud me. How about shit? How it shall rot his eye, man. Kadash. Devil hunters today. It was an apostle of the great millstone who taught us this truth correctly. All right. Shalom. All right. To the Akiim out there and the very few Aqua out there listening, man. Shalom and endure, man.